This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Oil and filter renewal. Open the bonnet by pulling the lever in the passenger's footwell and releasing the under bonnet catch. Use the prop to support the bonnet. Chock the rear wheels and then raise the front of the vehicle and support it on axle stands. Undo the retaining bolts or nuts and remove the engine undershield if fitted. Position a draining container below the drain plug underneath the car. Slacken the drain plug about half a turn, then remove it completely, moving it away sharply so the stream of oil from the sump runs into the container and not down your sleeve. Recover the sealing washer. Allow some time for the old oil to drain, noting that it may be necessary to reposition the container as the oil flow slows to a trickle. Next, Release the securing clips and remove the air intake hose from the front left-hand corner of the engine compartment to make access to the oil filter cap easier. Using a socket or spanner, slacken the oil filter plastic cap a couple of turns until the vent hole is uncovered to allow the oil in the filter housing to drain into the sump. Do not completely remove at this stage. Position a rag to catch any spilled oil. After all the oil has drained into the sump, go back underneath the vehicle and clean the area around the drain plug opening. Wipe off the drain plug with a clean rag, fit a new sealing washer to the plug and refit the plug. The oil filter plastic cap can now be unscrewed the rest of the way by hand. Use a rag to catch any oil spillage as the filter is removed. Lift the oil filter plastic cap away. Depending on the model, the paper filter element may stay in the lower part of the housing or will stay in the cap as it is removed. Remove the paper element from the filter housing if required. Use a clean rag to remove all oil and dirt from inside the filter cap and housing and then remove the o-ring seal from the cap. A new seal should be supplied with the new filter. Clean the filter housing with a cloth. Oil the o-ring around the filter locating peg. Take note of the hole for the filter peg to fit into. Fit the new filter into its housing, aligning the peg with the hole. Fit a new o-ring seal to the cap and slightly lubricate the o-ring seal with clean engine oil before screwing the cap into place by hand. Tighten the cap with a torque wrench. Raise the car clear of axle stands and remove the stands, then lower the car to the ground. Remove the oil filler cap and withdraw the dipstick from the tube. Fill the engine using the correct oil. An oil can spout or funnel may help to reduce spillage. Pour in half the specified quantity of oil first. You need three and three quarter litres for an oil and filter change. Then wait a few minutes for the oil to run to the sump. Continue adding oil a small quantity at a time until the level is up to the lower mark on the dipstick. Adding a further one and a half litres approximately will bring the level up to the upper mark on the dipstick. 
insert the dipstick and refit the filler cap when completed. Start the engine and run it for a few minutes, checking for leaks. Note that there may be a delay of a few seconds before the oil pressure warning light goes out when the engine is first started as the oil circulates through the engine oil galleries and the new oil filter before the pressure builds up. Switch off the engine and wait a few minutes for the oil to settle in the sump once more. With the new oil circulated and the filter completely full, recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary.